Kevin, thanks for coming by. Thank you for having me. This is my progeny, Harley. Yeah, and here we are. Star Wars has always been a big influence on you since you were a kid, and now it's going back to that same time period of A New Hope when you were a kid. And the entryway was the Yavin base. Like, that's something that I saw when I was a kid in 77 in the theater with my parents and my brother and sister. I walked into that theater, little Catholic kid. I was an altar boy in those days. I converted during the movie. I came out a Jedi. That became my new religion. So these movies fed me throughout childhood, fed my adulthood, and as much as, like, all the best material people remember from my earlier better films it comes from <laughs> Star Wars. So the fact that they're making new and that we're going to get one every Christmas now is just phenomenal. I'm glad we live in, in this weird parallel universe where Star Wars came back and is never going anywhere ever, ever again. And it just keeps getting better. I feel like the people who make Star Wars now at Lucasfilm have such love for it, and it's so obvious in the way they make the films. Clearly turned it over to a generation that was raised watching it and inspired by the magic, and now they call the shots, man. I look forward. This is the guy who directed this, directed Godzilla, right? That's right. I look forward to this, man. Everything I've seen so far looks awesome. I like that dude's story. He was a dude that came from Monsters, is that that first flick he made where like he shot footage and stuff and then put it together? They do some indie film. Like they're pulling the director of the episode eight, Ryan Johnson, he's from indie film. Like they're pulling these directors from, yeah. from indie film. It's kind of awesome. We have Miller and Lord doing Han Solo. Yeah, yes, that's true. I don't know if they're from indie film, but you know, they're the genius. But it's exciting. Yes, I mean, the, the point is there's an insane amount of talent behind these movies now. So. I was already in the bag for these flicks since childhood, but like watching them break off pieces and be like, you're gonna get young Han Solo, you're gonna get a Boba Fett standalone. This is just, this is everything I dreamed about. It's tough to not be emotional. Yeah. It, it, I, I'm gonna try to keep it together because I don't want my kid to be like, did you cry about Star Wars? It probably happens a lot though. No. I tried to lay a it up, I don't have enough hair. But hers kind of works. Thanks so much for coming by, Kevin. Really appreciate it. We're all looking forward to seeing the movie. Excellent seeing you. <laughs> yeah. State your name for the record. J. 